Well, I didn't expect to be back here so soon, but apparently Ken is doubling up on episodes, so here I am. Honestly, I don't know if this is going to be a regular thing or not, but this is going to help me for later in the week. But from here on out, I might stick to the US release schedule, but nah, I'm still not sure. That being said, I really liked this episode. It was a lot of fun. And I know I've been saying that for the past couple episodes, but yeah, that's what this season's been so far. Just a lot of fun. This was a great little episode about Fluttershy asserting herself. Not learning to asserting herself, but actually asserting herself. Which is the perfect way to show the progress she's made these past seven seasons. This definitely wouldn't have happened in season one. Maybe season four Fluttershy would have said something, but probably after one of the other main six uh, pushed her to do it. But here, she stood up for herself, and she was perfectly in the right to. Look, I know there are times when some pony is hired to do something, and the client wants something way out of their means, but what these ponies did was the exact opposite of what Fluttershy wanted. And that is a terrible way to conduct your business! A guarantee if there's some kind of version of pony Yelp, Fluttershy gave them all zero stars. Okay, no, she would have given them one star because she's too nice. But still, her calling them out on all that and firing them was the best thing to do. And I like that she stood up to her friends when they started throwing their ideas in there too. It's just great to see that Fluttershy is in a position where she's not compromising herself or her ideas because other ponies say so. It's a wonderful way to show her personal growth and callback to how she used to be. And speaking of callbacks, who would have expected Big Daddy McColt to show back up? I mean, the way they were talking about this new pony Fluttershy hired, I figured it was going to be some pony we knew, but I wasn't expecting him. I'm loving this season for its sense of continuity and how it's weaved in there perfectly. Nothing feels forced, nothing feels pandering, it all seems like it makes sense. I hope they keep it up. And I like that they're introducing us to new characters while bringing back old ones. I can't say I'll remember the three business ponies that well, but Dr. Fauna is an interesting case, if only because I thought Fluttershy was Ponyville's veterinarian. So if she's not that, then what is her role in the town? Because we have seen her take care of animals and help them get better, but that's usually what you need a vet for, so I don't know anymore. Hopefully they straighten this out too. And hopefully I get the schedule straightened out soon, because I don't know how I can do with many of these double shifts. But until then, you might see me sooner than expected for more of my pony thoughts.